Hey guys, welcome back to the Sales Pipe Overview where we're gonna dive in today to the psychology of our prospective clients as well as take a look at some of the automations that you can set up inside your business to help you become more efficient and really just provide a better experience for them as they're making this buying decision. And why it's important to us is we know that this process is complex, it's important uh, to the people going through it and it's not always the fastest or easiest decision to make. Um, you know, when in fitness uh, for a long time, you can kind of um, get too close to the idea that everybody needs this or wants this. And uh, the reality is that people come into fitness and you know finding health as a passion at various stages in their life. They're nervous, they're scared, they're not informed. Uh, so we have to take all those things into consideration and try to do our best to get them the information that they need most, wherever it is that they're at in this uh, buyer's journey, if you would. So we're going to dive down some of the tools that are going to make your life a lot easier as a business owner, but provide a better service at the same time. And I have a feeling by the time we're ending uh, this uh, this uh, video, you guys are going to have a much clearer picture of the mindset of your uh, prospect, but also what you need to do specifically on the business side to facilitate that and make your administrative processes a lot smoother and let's just say less um, you know, time focused. So let's dive right in. The first thing that we're going to talk about is the buyer's journey. And essentially this is the psychology behind why someone makes a purchase. So as we dive in, um, you're going to notice that there's a, a series of steps that someone goes through when purchasing something. And uh, we'll walk through each of those steps to help you understand that. But I want you thinking in terms of someone uh, walking in to your business and trying to make a decision about whether they want to sign up and enroll for a membership. So the first step in this series is what they call stimulus, right? This is when someone recognizes that um, deep down they're unhappy um, or that there's a pain that they're carrying around um, or an interest that they haven't really done anything about. And it's just kind of coming to them and that may be through uh, your actions as an advertiser or you know content creator, um, but we have to make them aware um, in order to create that stimulus. Next is they actually recognize the problem they're going to learn that they, they need help if they're going to improve their situation. And this is what initially creates that motivation or inspiration to do something about it. So think of someone um, who wants to lose fat or uh, become a better athlete. Uh, they, they need the habits in their life if they're, they're gonna be able to change those things. And that's where we come in you know, as gyms and, and coaches. As they move forward through uh, these steps, they're going to start to look for information about who is the best option. But before they can do that, they need to just get a general search going of, well, what are the available options around me? Um, and that could be you know, all the gyms nearby within a certain radius of my work or my home. Once they've done that, they're going to prioritize that list. Hopefully you're in that top three um, because it's really important that you stand out and that has a lot to do with marketing and advertising but just know that in that research we want to come up on that list for solving the types of problems that they're interested in so they're going to start evaluating and comparing companies and we want to be in that top three so in order for them to make a purchase decision and actually sign up they're going to start comparing things like testimonials company core values your pricing how convenient it is uh, for their situation um, so it's on us to really provide that information because if they don't have it they're left to kind of find that on their own or uh, in the absence of it they may go somewhere else that is a better communicator of it and then lastly once they actually sign up and enroll uh, they can start to generate some feelings of uh, post-purchase evaluation meaning that are they truly satisfied with their decision is there any buyers remorse and ultimately what we have to do is make sure that the services that we promoted and sold uh, align with the promises we've made and the expectations we set. So that is the psychology of um, 
you know, a prospect or a consumer as they go through this buying uh, process with you. So be thinking about that and put yourself in their shoes. Um, you can definitely rush and force the process of uh, someone buying it, and that is uh, largely what I think people feel when they get that sense of being pushy or salesy, uh, and we don't want to do that. So respect the buying decision process and know where your prospects are at within it, and you'll have a better understanding of what to say and when to say it.